Hello my lovelies and the first video here in the brand new year of 2022. Not only is it the first video of the year, this is also the last video for this series that I have. I, I didn't even know if it was going to be a series, but the artist process of pro progress, uh, I don't know, did I even have a name for it? <laughs> I don't remember anymore. Um, but the process of creating art from sketch to inking and, and, then, and now with this one adding color. Um, the fun thing about this whole process is I didn't know if it would ever have uh, a finish because that's part of the process. Sometimes artwork gets started and then falls to the wayside. Um, but fortunately, and I'm so happy because I love how this piece turned out, we, we have a, a finished piece by the end of this video. I chose to do it in watercolor. I had a couple different options and watercolor was my first choice. If it didn't work out, I was going to move to Copic. And if that didn't work out, I was going to uh, work on digital art and color it digitally. But I really wanted watercolor to be the first choice and I'm glad it worked out. So yay, I, I don't have an actual topic for this video to talk about. I know I when I do these art videos, I tend to try to think of something, one main point of topic to talk about an experience or some seed of wisdom to pass along. And I've tried several voice recordings for this video and I just kind of sound like I'm blabbering. <laughs> so I'm gonna try not to blabber in this video too much. The one thing I did wanna talk about really briefly is um, time-lapse. Um, but a lot of times when I'm doing longer pieces that take more than a, you know, a few minutes to do, which is a lot of art, um, I'll time-lapse it. So it'll be a sped up drawing. Um, that way you can see all the different parts and how it all comes together. And it's kind of magical to watch, you know, a blank canvas just be flooded with paint and all the colors merging and blending and all of a sudden, boom, like two minutes later, you have a finished piece. And it's, I love watching those videos, but I find that there's a danger to them for people who are on an art journey to just remember that time lapses are that. They are super sped up work. And so what we see an artist doing in a few minutes, we think that subconsciously maybe, we think we could create really fast. If you would have asked me how long it would take me to paint this piece, I would have said, you know, one setting. So like two or three hours, I could get this done. And this piece alone took me three to four days of pretty good focused work to get in there. And I, I was going to go ahead and record the whole thing and then time lapse it in there. But I wanted you to see that it's a process. It's it's slow and it's meticulous. And even even this piece, when I finish it, I'm, I'm happy with it. But I I could see things that if I add a little bit more time and effort and practice before I had started it, that I could I could have made it more to the image that's in my mind. The image in my mind is a little bit fluffier. This one isn't as fluffy. But yeah, I just want to show you a little little snippets of the actual time progress. So the rest of this video I talk about um, the new year and with the new year comes goals and and resolutions, uh, things that we want to accomplish um, and then kind of looking back at the last year and then seeing you know what did we do, what did we accomplish, what goals did we accomplish and first I have to say that I don't think I've accomplished very much in my goal department for the last couple of years. <laughs> and that's okay. I feel like I've still learned a lot in my art and I've pushed myself in a lot of areas. I did not have very many finished pieces. I didn't have very many finished products. It was just kind of a year to survive. But that doesn't mean that heading into 2022 that we shouldn't think about what, what are some areas that we want to improve in, um, push ourselves or things that we want to create. I don't have a list for myself yet. Usually at the beginning of the year, I think, oh, I want to do this, or I want to do that. I want to create a, a finished picture each month or a finished line art each month or a calendar by the end of the year. And I, I don't have that. So I want to ask you guys, what are your art goals for 2022? Share those in the comment section below. And uh, maybe that will give us some inspiration of, of what we want to tackle with that. And I think in our, my next video, I'm going to be talking about some new art mediums that I am looking into to test out and try out and I'm kind of excited about. 
Anyway guys, here is the finished piece from sketch to finished product. There it is. I'm really happy with it. I like the color, how it turned out. So thank you guys for being on this adventure with me, this journey with me, and I look forward to having you hang out in my studio with me in this coming year as we tackle other art journeys. And so until next time, God bless you guys, keep being creative, and we'll see you in our next art video. Bye-bye.